Okay everyone, welcome back to Dropsy. I have been informed by several people that the onion that I've been looking for is not an onion after all, but instead is a loaf of garlic, or a bulb of garlic. Now, since we are all smart boys and girls, we are going to figure out that the garlic is going to be where there are people trying to hunt vampires. And where are they? Why? Over in the vampire, broden, whatever you want to call it, com commune. So let's run down and try to find some. Hey lady. Just gonna, just gonna sleep by here. Gotta find your, uh, onion basty, uh, sorry, not onion, garlic! I keep getting that wrong. Just gotta find it first. I got the fish. And I just need to find someone with some garlic. It might be over on the uh, other side, where there is the uh, boat and the statue and all that, but let's check around here first. Maybe see if we can steal some garlic from someone. Oh, there's no one here. Let's sleep until the morning and see what happens. Or midday, I guess you could call it. I will say, um, I've had a few people concerned about us missing hugs. While I am trying to get as many... Oh, she's still gone. Huh. Okay. While I am trying to get as many hugs the first time through as I can, um, I will be doing a completionist 100% uh, hug run. Not of the entire game, clipping through and getting the hugs that we haven't gotten so far. Uh, I've missed quite a few of them because I am playing this blind, and it's kind of hard to do. So, I, uh, I'm just hoping for the best. Oh, can I take her hair? What do I have? Do I have a stick or something? I know, that's kind of gross, but I give me a shot. Mr. Burry, let's let's see what you got. And there we go, onions. Let's head back and uh, make some nice soup for that crazy ass uh, garbage collector. So yeah, we'll get all of the uh, hugs no matter what. I will be ending up using a strategy guide or walkthrough or whatever you want to call it for the rest of them, but uh, we'll see what we can get. So let's make some soup. Oh, that was a new song too. I wonder if the songs are random if, or if they're based on the time of day that you're moving around. Because originally it seemed like we only got that heavy metal one, but... Now that we've been doing more and moving around more, it seems like we've gotten a greater variety of things. So, we'll see. And still pissed off. What do you want now? God, you're fat. Maybe a fish? I have a fish. Make it a fish, tomato, onion, or garlic stew. What do you want? Gimme, give gimme, give what do you want? A bone. Um. Really? Don't tell me. Oh, that's super gross. A secret ingredient. Oh. I guess he doesn't really have any qualms about screwing over his boss. I wouldn't either. Is this the start of some episode of Criminal Minds or something? Because uh, he just ate human, basically. So, um, is he gonna start like going crazy and you know, slicing people up and stuff? Ramsey the Clown. Also, that was a very rude uh, little dance he got there. You're making fun of him? He can't help the way that he is. All right, let's see if I can hug him now. Can I get it? Can I get it in? Aww. We melted his bitter black heart with the flesh of uh, men and gods. 
There wasn't even any meat on those. That is super weird. Oh well. The important thing is we got in and now we can rescue our little doggy. Hi, pupper. Aww, we got him back. Good boy. What's this? Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if we've done this already, but... Oh, uh, I guess we did. Someone's painting a picture of us? I don't know who. This isn't our bed, as far as I know. Oh, well. Okay, let's head back out again, now that we have our pupper, and we can run on down to the uh, circus. I don't think that there's alternative endings to this game, so we're just going to keep blindly following the plot, I guess. I mean, I don't know. That Megacorp is super sketchy, but we haven't really found a great reason to uh, disbelieve them yet, other than the uh, whole, like, secret testing thing. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do about, like, trusting them. They, they seem like they're taking advantage of Dropsy, but what possible reason would they have to do that? Hmm, <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> Why does he dress like someone out of, like, Star Trek? What's up with the sash? Or the rubber gloves? Okay, go home and come back in the morning. And we'll have a grand opening, I guess. Oh, he's alive! Hey, Dad! Aww. He's growing up. I mean, Dropsy kind of looks like he's, what, at least 30? But, um... Oh, he has a surprise! Oh, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Uh, I'm, I'm super psyched. Is it gonna be something fancy? The hell? Um. We got shot from the moon? Uh, wait, what? Wait. Are you telling me that Dropsy is basically Superman? Like, is there some special clownium that we have to avoid? Um... Okay, so we can't read any of that. So, they couldn't have kids, and suddenly Dropsy came from the sky. That explains why he uh, doesn't ever put on his makeup, for one. Okay. Um. So we're an alien, basically. That's, uh, pretty weird. Oh, well, we still love you, Dad. I, I guess we're just going to leave. Oh man, look at all those hugs. We're, we've hugged a lot of people, I'm kind of surprised. Please excuse any background noise you might hear. We're currently in the middle of a 
apparent monsoon right now, so a bit of thunder, a bit of lightning, a bit of uh, death, and all that fun stuff. Okay, let's go off to... What's all this? Was that there before? I don't remember. Go off to the uh, circus with our alien selves. That was not something I expected. Okay, so that's why he wants us to go to the circus, is because he's obsessed with aliens and he wants to capture us. Is it, I guess that's why we can communicate with animals so well, is because we, like, can telepathically talk with them. Alright, very important dad hug. What do you mean, shrug? Don't give me that. Ugh. Dropsy, you are incorrigible. Oh, we can't teleport either. We have to walk. Oh, right. We were uh, going to go see the uh, tree that we haven't hugged in a while. Someone reminded me of that. So let's go and check it out on our way over. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. I think you might have been our first hug, apart from the dog. Hello, Mr. Tree. Have a hug. Oh, he's smiling! I guess that was the last one, tree hugger. Also, that tree has teeth. That's kind of uh, disturbing. If we were to keep hugging him, would it open up into a gaping maw that would swallow us? What the fuck? Um. Why are they... Oh shit, are they gonna like... Is this a smear campaign? Are they gonna come back and like... Try to kill us or something? Holy shit! What is all this? They put the flyers up themselves. I have a feeling that I probably should drop a save before um, I head too far in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Do a quick save. Oh, wrong one. And keep going. I, I, you have to do the fart button. It's very important. I mean, what would you be without a fart button? You would be a person without a fart button. Seriously? What is this? Are they going to try to, like, kill us or something? Aw, oh, they're all so happy. That kid's trying to be tall. That lady has a beard. Or at least five o'clock shadow. Yeah, this isn't ominous at all. Why are there tumbleweeds inside? You would have. Oh, those are fires. We're gonna die, aren't we? Oh. Okay. What the fuck? Oh my god, is that the mouse? Holy mother of shit! What did they- No, please don't tell me. That's the dog that- Holy shit. Oh, this dickhead. Oh, they're still friends. Yay! He shot him? He shot the rat? No, that was the dog. A 
Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> um Okay. Well, I guess I'll leave it off there. Next time we'll go hunt down the uh, CEO of the Evil Mega Corporation for being a complete dickhead. See you next time.